Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. Um, let's do a randomization. We are getting closer and closer to, uh, oh, it's just regular old Isaac. It's been a while, Isaac. It's been a while. We'll give him a go. Um, but we're getting closer and closer to starting up the new save file. I know. I've seen this before. Excuse me? Enter. Close. You made me waste my bomb. I'm restarting because it made me waste my bomb. Anyways. Yeah, it's been um, it's been a while since we played old classic Isaac, but yeah, what I was gonna say is we're getting kind of close to um, when we'll be starting up the new save file. Um, I'm hoping people are on board with this idea, um, the vast majority of you at least. It should be fun, should be a thing to switch things around. I have noticed that, while unfortunate but completely understandable, the error of the 1k views per vid is coming to an end. Um, at the current iteration we've got. Uh, I've noticed, oh god damn, he's speedy. Um, a few videos here and there, not quite hitting the mark, which is fine. Isaac's been out a long time, I kind of get it. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, doing something a little bit new might reinvigorate some people on their enjoyment of the Isaac series. But we've all we've always got, like, you classics here. Um, I think I want money equals power early, and I'll reroll that. I'm going to take Gimpy as well. Beautiful. A very Devil Deal-centric uh, start to this run here. Very Devil Deal-centric indeed. And I'm getting an item from this, aren't I? Yes, I knew it. I could have maybe held off there for a potential um, potential reroll, but I thought, hell, just go for it. Good stuff, though. Um, getting money equals power really early is super positive. Another chest here. This could kill us. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I had to try it. A room full of explosions, not the sort of thing I want to be trifling with right about now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play this correctly, because otherwise I'm going to die. Okay, not too bad at all. We got another item. Um, please say I do this right. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Sigil of knowledge there as well. Sigil of Knowledge is insanely good. Um, we can go back and get our secret room now. And it not only um, uh, reveals the secret rooms, but I'm pretty sure it opens them too. I'm going to be really frustrated if I die now. Um, because of me being a goober. We did get a really good trinket here as well. Um, drops two random glass dice and a penny at the start of each one. That's kind of good, but I'm not going to take that. The tinted rock there is... Of great value to us. Do I want to gamble on the... Um, I'll gamble on these pills. Speed down, I'm not that bothered about. Lemon parties, whatever. Huzzah. I managed to get out of the way of that just in time there. I do like taking that risk. I definitely should have waited on a reroll for um, Dad's Lost Coin here. But I got a luck upgrade out of it. This has been an insanely, insanely beneficial first floor. I have to say, this is... This is kind of ludicrous, the amount of benefit we've gained out of this first war. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. A little brim alone was a pretty good start, but money equals power on top of that. The sigil is absolutely amazing. Um, honestly, I'll take a, a rotten heart. Why not? Oh, you're dead. Like, they can sometimes give you stuff when they die, so it's worth sticking around. But... The little clot dude as well, fantastic. The, this this boss might hurt me at least once because this is a painfully difficult boss sometimes, but actually not too bad. We get brunch, a simple health up to balance out the pool a bit. I'm gonna reroll that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. More luck early on is great, and the range is decent, and the soul heart's pretty good too. I think we're about good to go here. Yeah, I'm gonna just take take the exit here. Uh, I think I'm going to try and go Mother this time round. I, I am feeling a Mother run here, but I've gone to the regular path here just because it's going to be a bit of an easier floor. Oh, Blue Bomber Bomb. Dude, what is going on right now? Uh, another re-rollable right there. Very good. Very nice. Very, very happy to have the D6 right now, I have to say. Ah, oh, unfortunately, a chest that we cannot possibly reach. Walk directly into that fire, you know, just because. I think I'm going to go for this. Just exactly for that reason. We're getting a lot of damage up out of keeping money. And honestly, I don't need the extra key that I'd normally use for the shop. Because I'm probably going to just 
not go to the shop all. Like, on purpose, to make sure I keep as much money and as much damage as possible. Especially early game. Um, if I can keep that going, I will. I'm pretty sure this is the way to the boss, but I'm going to carry on anyways. Yeah, it is. Honestly, little brim early. Such a good grab. Such a good grab. Oh, hello. That was a really cool little interlude to this room, having those guys drop in there. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I don't want to fight the boss quite yet, I don't think. I'd rather see if I can get another reroll first. Extra penny there. Don't want to be leaving any of those about. Good, good. I suppose I should be destroying all the extra fires that I can because of this. We also want to do the extra exploration here as well because we want to make sure that we get the sigil procced. Reroll that. We got Luminary Flare. That's fantastic. A really cool item in general, but just, yeah, very powerful. Lil Chad. Lil Chad. I'm not going to take him quite yet, just in case we get a battery drop. But he's probably worth taking, to be honest. He's probably worth grabbing. But, give me a sec to hold off. I'm going to see. So there's our Luminary, uh, not Luminary Fray, there's our thingy. Explorer's Instinct procking. Lovely. Ah, that's beautiful. I could go and try and maybe buy a battery. Is that worth a key right now? No, because we need the key to get down to downpour, so don't do that. Don't do that. I will bomb this for the potential. I mean, it's a little bit of damage, but more so the potential of a good card here. Spawn a bunch of hearts is really nice. Joker is pretty fantastic here. This is kind of a tricky one, really. Let's just quick. Let me just quickly check something. Go, let me go check to see if my um, my other room here, secret room, is one that I can use to spawn hearts. It unfortunately isn't. We can get a charge out of this guy. I'm going to try it. I realise it is costing us damage to do this. But if we can get a reroll and get something a little better, I think it's worthwhile. We only need one more charge from him. Come on, not too many coins. Not too many coins. There you go. Okay, pretty happy with that. I don't I don't know where to, where to use my Queen of Hearts now, though. I'll be honest. I, do I take the Joker or do I take the Queen? I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Good. Good. Let's hope we can get something a little better out of this guy. Devious Lick. Really, really good. Quality 4 item. Very, very nice chain lightning sort of shots going on. Um, honestly, just pop it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to use it. I'd rather keep the Joker on me. I'll be honest. There's, there's definite use cases for that, but I don't think it's what we want to go for right now. Right. We'll take our Devil Deal. I doubt I'm gonna take anything from the Devil Deal. I realize I could have kept a reroll for the Devil Deal, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with how this went uh, as is now. Oh, dude. Where did that fire come from? Oh, my God. This guy's such a bastard. I hate this boss so much. Some of his attacks are just horrible. <laughs> All bandage is pretty nice here. Can go back and fill up that red heart if we feel like it. Um, I'm going to take that. Da damage. Enemies of the same type and variety to split damage evenly. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty big damage boost. Obviously, it puts our health in a rather risky spot. But we're kind of playing like that anyways. And this item's just really, really good. Especially for Fiend Folio, when a lot of the same enemies reside in the same rooms. It'll split the damage evenly among them. And then the damage that we've got itself is really good. But you should, should see that these enemies die at the exact same time. And that exactly is what happened. We're majorly looking for Tinted Rocks here. Kill one of these guys and everything will die. Lovely. It just basically it kind of solves a few issues with target prioritization. We don't really have to worry that much about that. We can just kind of take it as we go. There's our mirror room. Our white fire's right here. We still need to find our item room there first, so let's hold off on thinking about that right now. All of those are dead. I don't know if it increases the maximum health of the one enemy we're shooting at or not. I don't think it does. 
Okay, this is a really good room to take the mirror into. Take the white fire into, should I say. Telescope lens is really nice here. Let's crack open this. I don't really like this item. It's good, but it's problematic. I'm going to take the random one. I'm just, honestly, I'm pretty happy with Fruity Plum here. This will give us a good amount of money. That's a Tinted Rock as well. I really should have noticed that earlier. We do need another bomb now, I've just noticed, because I just used one that I shouldn't have used. Whoopsie. But we might get one out of these chests over here anyways. Right, so go back over this way. We've got a lot of, like, flying able stuff right now, so go like that. We get the extra keys out of this. I'm hoping this chest gives us a bomb. It did. Good, good. Not much else we can grab from here. Dun, dun, dun. We can go free cash room actually as well. Okay, now we can go into our mirror room. Dun, 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 dun. Music on this floor is so good. Oh dude, that, that guy hit me and I don't really know how. I'll give him the credit for it, that was pretty good going, but a little bit annoyed by that. <laughs> These guys are underground now as well. Hey, we're getting the bombs fast and loose now, it doesn't matter. Things are just dying so rapidly with this setup, this item's so good. Try to be careful, the devious lick as well is helping too. There you go, everything just dies. Wait for the rainfall here. Extra half soul heart there as well. Okay, health is now in a much, much better state. I, I don't think I'm going to use my Joker card yet, still. Right. I could do my boss, but I don't know what boss it is, so I'll, I'll see about that. I will see about that. I'm not so convinced right now. Good, good. And we'll pop through here to do our boss. We'll see what it is, and then I'll see if I want to do it on the flip side. But I don't think I'm going to want to, unless it's a boss that's really easy. It's not a boss that's really easy. I'm not going to bother. I need to remember I've got Little Brim here. I'm not really using him that much, and it's kind of a shame, really. I mean, to be fair, this guy was pretty easy, but I still wouldn't risk losing this run on this guy. As, um, as our ghosty former self. I haven't asked the question of the day yet either. I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget. Uh, speed up I'm definitely going to take. And then we're going to pop on through here. Uh, question of the day today. Hmm. What's something that you think is way too expensive right now? I mean, everything's way too expensive right now. But what's something in particular? What's something that's... The only reason it's got me thinking about it is because I don't... I'm, I'm very... Uh, frugal with like bills and stuff so I've not been I've not turned my heating on for the past like two years um, I've just dealt with the cold but unfortunately for the first year I'm actually having to uh, turn it on because it is just insanely cold here it's like minus five um, oh really that was not a worthy payout it was a waste of money um, I should use my joker card on the last floor uh, actually no 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 I, I, I was gonna say I should have but actually I decided specifically against it because of my uh, current health situation Oh, that is a lot of damage there. Lovely. Um, but yeah, so at the minute for me, it's just heating. <laughs> Ooh, Gimpy finally procs. Lovely. Ow. Gimpy procs again. Awesome. Ooh, these guys are cool. I really like these guys, these enemies. They're scary, but they're really cool. We do not want the dim bulb here. Thank you. I'm going to check my shop. I realize I don't want to be spending my money, but... If there's something super valuable or there's a soul heart for sale, I will buy it. Just because now it means we actually have the ability to take a devil deal, should we be offered one. Oh, balls. It's kind of cool having old bandage and gimpy on one run, because you can get red hearts and soul hearts when you get hit. Not that I need red hearts, but the fact that you can get both is kind of interesting. Ooh, that's potentially quite good. 
that's actually really good. We've got two speed upgrades. Um, pretty minor, but also a luck upgrade. The luck upgrade is definitely the most important one of those. Very nice indeed. I know where secret room is, but there's literally zero point in bombing into my secret room because if I explore enough of the floor, I get it for free. Whoa, I've not seen this enemy before. This, is, this guy's new. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, God. That bat was going crazy. It was going wild. Uh, one of you he went headless. I see. Right. Keeper's kin. Rocks and articles spawn. Two blue spiders when destroyed. Rocks and occasionally spawn spiders in hostile rooms. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Oh, quince would have been really good there. Darn. Not quite sure what these things do. These are some new enemies. Or new to me, at least. An update I don't know about, perhaps? Hey, there you go. The great thing about Explorer's Instinct is you get it at, like, 80% of the floor complete. So, in this situation, we didn't actually complete the full floor and we got mapping for the rest of it. It's really nice. Pretty sure this works, right? Yeah, good, good. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. Mini boss here. A rather annoying one, but luckily, easily fell. Don't think I want that, especially not for the trinket that I've currently got. Right. Skip, skip, skip back and do my secret rooms. Yeah, my see the secret room was where I expected it to be. Um. So I guess we go boom. See what we get. Oh, lovely bit of money. And then on this one, we do the same thing. Just pop that down there. That is fantastic. That's free cash room entry. I love that. Um, tooth and Nail is, is, is just a generally pretty good item anyways, but people don't think about the fact that it literally is free secret room entry as long as you have a little bit of patience. Also, to be fair, it kind of works with this chest too, because I can open it up and uh, I can wait on the Tooth and Nail to proc and then open it, and then if it explodes exactly like that, I don't take any damage. So it's a really good tool that people don't really think about very much. I think it's a lot better than people give it credit for. Did not realize I could get that bomb there for a second. Right. So we can go over here. And then once Tooth and Nail procs. Go in. Get whatever we get. We get Chunk of Tofu here. Um, we get more Tofu from bosses. Um... Yeah, I'll go for that. It's 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 kind of an interesting one. It might not be that good for us, but I, I like the idea behind it. We're late enough into the game where I think we've got the boss items we need to have, and then we can kind of curse on Turfu. Because it'll level it'll like level and rank up and become something more powerful than it was once before. Forgot we hadn't cleared this room already. More beautiful money for us. Love it. Didn't quite get much damage done there. This guy does leave red creep, so let's be careful of that. Be wary. Okay. I've creep in some bad spots here. This one's dead. Dropping Hemolacrio shots on us. Oh, God. Don't like how it's trapped us in here. Right, go away, creep. There we go. I love it when you get all the segments in one shot. Beautiful. And then there's our Turfu again. I mean, we can always re-roll it if we don't want it. And I think... Are we ready to take a Joker? I don't think so. I think our health is still a little bit off from where we want it to be for a Joker. Which I realise is a bit of a waste, but yeah, I'm not super into that idea. So let's... Yeah, this is only Ash Pit 1, so let's go down. We don't need to do our Mother Chase, remember I have a mod that circumnavigates ourselves around that, which is really nice. Right, 
Right, so we can go in here, remember. And out for free. Okay, now our health is looking good enough. We do have a 100% chance for a Devil Deal here, so no reason to, uh, to go using our card on this floor. As long as we can keep that chance alive, which I can't imagine to be a problem. Um, I do want to use this golden pill, but I have found before that um, I can get teleported before I finish the floor. So what I'd rather do is... Oh, bloody bad hit there. I'd rather try and finish the floor first in terms of like find all my secret rooms and stuff and then use my golden pill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to happen. We got a bunch of... Um, spiders out of it, so can't complain in that regard. Another luck upgrade here as well, that's fantastic. They've kind of trapped us off here. Created a bunch of land we can't get across. Definitely liking the, the, the game's new um, pretty solid frame right now. It's nice. It's very nice indeed. Again, we'll check out the shops in case there's just something amazing we want. Or a soul heart. Broken Murdom, I think, is worth losing some damage for. Broken Murdom is a very, very good item, and it can give us more money in the long run from uh, room drops as well, so in that regard, it can be worth. Oh, hello. We found Mini Mush there. Do we want Mini Mush? I'll crack this open, because why not? By the Soul Heart. Do we want Mini Mush? No. Uh, piercing tears. Tears increase in damage the more enemies they pass through. Pretty good. We also got Lusty Blood here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, that was a very good reroll. We did just lose pretty much all of our damage through money, but we'll get that back. We'll get that back in time. I think otherwise that went very, very well. <laughs> that went pretty much exactly as we hoped it to. The piercing is especially quite nice. Oh, and this is this is just going splendidly. <laughs> just trying to proc um, our explorer's instinct at the minute, which for some reason hasn't proc'd yet, which it should have proc'd by now. Maybe when I clear this room, it will. No. take the random. Unfortunately, not what we wanted there, but not terrible. Um, yeah, why hasn't my Explorer's Instinct proc'd here? That's weird. Would have hoped it would proc by now. I guess not right. Um, I have to try it. Let's go fight our boss. Do our devil deal and stuff. There we go. Now it's proc'd. I don't know why it took until the very last room to do so there, but My, uh, my tooth and nail just saved me there. You can definitely see w that we've lowered our damage quite a bit here. God damn, you are stuck behind that mushroom, sir. That wasn't too bad at all. Interesting champion. There's Tofu at level 3. He becomes Tofu Boy now. And we get an item that I'm particularly uh, happy with. I'll definitely take that. I could, have, um, I could and should have actually tried to get some charges before I went in there, but... Hey, her. Right. Back over this way. A hundred percent wider tiers and increased knockback. I have to see. Oh my god, that looks pretty cool. We got. Just take that. Our Joker card. That's for the next floor, I think. I think we'll just pop our joke as, as soon as we have a charge on the next floor here. Right. Quickly go in here. Foulgut is pretty damn good. We'll take Foulgut. <laughs> Turfy boy's doing a good job. Broke and murder him there. Stacking the damage on this fella. With their four look, I the occults can be popping fairly often. Especially considering we're firing two shots at once here. 
What, what the hell? I don't know if he like got hit by the spikes there, but he just died instantly. Wow. Some more money there. Good, good. Um, and then I think we want to start popping our golden pill. Explosive. Not what I was hoping for. Explosive diarrhea. diarrhea followed by relax. Kind of an interesting combo. There's some uh, reroll potential there. There's a look down. Really wasn't looking for that. Bad trip as well. It likes the explosive diarrhea right now. Okay, it's gone. That wasn't a very successful one. We actually got pretty negative stuff out of that. The look down especially was not what I wanted to see. But hey, her. It is as it is. As it is. Let's keep moving on. Okay. We are good to go. Didn't really remember about this. We do lose a burn heart for that, but that's fine. And we head on out. Yes, yes. We do. We good. We're good. We're good. We don't need our knife piece. We're good to go. And I think we just pop our joker straight away here. And we get, I think that's goat head and some sort of baby, so I'm going to re-roll. We've got a theme, I think, which is actually insanely good now. And I'm not quite sure what this is. I think it's the fire baby and it's a little Abaddon. A theme, for those of you who haven't seen it since it got buffed, is ridiculous now. And it does scale with luck, so it's unfortunate we got that luck down, but we still have good luck, so... But basically, it's a chance to do something crazy on kill. Isaac's tomb's pretty nice here. There you go, there's the black rings of death. The proc off of the theme. Ooh, contact damage for familiar sounds pretty good, but honestly, throwing away this trinket is super hard for me to do right now. I like the way that little Abaddon was very thematic with this. Yeah, we're going to be just stomping through rooms at this rate. Do that, why not? Not particularly good, but we got our bomb back at least. The fact that it can trigger off of enemies that it triggers on. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. There you go. And everything dies in a sequence. This is good. A lot more money potential here. Not a ton more, but a bit more. I like it. I think health-wise and everything, we're looking really, really good this time around. It's a really fun run. Classic Isaac for a classic powerful run. It's what I like to see. Right, we're probably going to have to do some backtracking here for secret rooms, because I think I already know where they are. But like I said, we don't really want to be bombing into secret rooms, because it's going to cost us a bomb when it otherwise wouldn't. Ow. He managed to get a nice throw of um, creep there that I wasn't expecting. Oh, what the hell? Everything just exploded in the middle of the room there. I'm not complaining. Okay, cash room here. Remember, we can get in there for free, so we should do that. More money. Hey, the money's building back up again. We got ourselves a credit card here, which will give us free devil deals. We should pay attention to that. Ooh, the music in this floor is really spooky. I know I've heard it a bunch of times before, but... Sometimes you, like, don't really listen to it. And this time I kind of have, and it's it's pretty cool. More keys. Come on, give us more luck. I want some more, more of that luck back. Item room here. We got Mystery or Slippery Tooth? Slippery Tooth, yeah. Oh, the Mystery item was really good, though. But Slippery Tooth is still pretty good. earth is going on in here? Got a little horn somewhere about. Oh, there you are. Yeah, we get these skiddy poop sort of slicks that give us stat bonuses when we stand on them. 
It's very, very nice. And there's our full mapping. Oh, we got a devil deal on our uh, on our ultimate path here, so we should go check that out. We should, of course, do our devil deal, devil deal boss fight first, though. Oh damn, this fight's laggy for some reason. Not quite. Oh, it's because of the chains glitching the hell out. What the hell? The game does not like the way the chain is processing everything here. Look at that. It's like... Oh, wait. Is this boss taking damage? Um... Okay, there you go. The boss, like, wasn't taking damage for a hot minute there. We sorted it, though. We sorted it. Okay, Tofu Boy is at max rank now. He has become what he needed to become. Tainted Rocks have been unlocked, which is strange considering I definitely already had them unlocked. Um, unlock all, there you go. Should, should already be unlocked, so weird, but hey ho. As I said, do we want to backtrack for that secret room? I'll be honest, I really don't. <laughs> We can do this, though, and go see what that devil deal has to offer. That was a bad hit. Oh, I like the noise it makes when I hit this thing. Iron bar? No, Midas touch. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, little ghosties. Try to slice me. That was confusing with the teleports there. And then this, it isn't actually a devil deal. I've been duped. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, I got duped, unfortunately. Back we go. That is slightly frustrating. I don't know why the uh, the minimap API thing is, is really broken with this path. I keep forgetting it. It does not work as it should. Anyways, let's get out of here. We've taken too long on this floor. Let's skedaddle, skadoodle. Um, yes. I think we're just ready to go here. I think we are just ready to go. And we got a blessing this time around. Flight. So we just get flight for the floor. That's pretty nice. Um, one max heart, one morbid heart. That's actually pretty decent. I like that. I like the way that it fits in really nicely with the black hearts too. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting enemy. Create like a ring around him. I really like the golden version of um, the teeth here. Ooh. This is not a friendly boss for us. Luckily... It's a f first floor boss, so it dies pretty quick. I just this item's so good, just killing everything in the room if there's if they're similar. You don't know how powerful that is. I mean, you do. You're seeing it, but god damn. A few coins, and the fact that there's a few spiders that are doing that as well is really nice. It's nice with these weaker enemies too, especially with that ability to chain react like that. I'm liking these guys. I don't know what they're about, but they're pretty cool. Ah, uh, we don't want to be fucking around with that chest. They're really cool chests, but I don't need to mess around with them right now. The brain pops out for all of them, and then it just... It's just lovely. You just kill one thing, and all hell breaks loose in the room. It's just fantastic. And that one's pretty easy enough when you've got flight. <gasps> so much money. Ho oh, ho ho. Yeah, damage. I'm so glad we got money equals power early on because we've not really received any other damage ups. Apart from, um, what's it called? The one that gives us damage per enemy we kill in the room. We've not really got much other damage ups going. Um, honestly, give me that. Save me some time. Take a random one. Nugget bombs, eh. Not that good. Check out the shop in case we want that credit card in here. Nah. 
This should, by the end of this path, reveal the secret rooms to us, I'm hoping. Boom. And we go. And it didn't. We might have to beat the boss first again. Okay, I'm leaving some stuff on the ground, I realise. We don't really need to mess with it. I'm going to go get my credit card, just in case we get a devil deal that's really good, because it can give you free devil deal stuffs. And then we'll be out of here. Right, boss man. We're not going to get the free kills here, I don't think. Actually, well, the Athame can proc off of the enemies you spawn, so maybe. Oh god, that was a really bad bit of movement from me there. Two hits I shouldn't have taken. It's all turned into poop. Oh, I got a Gimpy proc, I didn't even realize. Nice. Lovely, and a Soul Heart there as well. We'll take that. We'll take that. And I'm going to re-roll these. Solomon's pretty good. Honestly, just credit card both of those. Solomon's good. Little Minx, I've not really found how to properly use Little Minx yet, but it, it claims to be quality three. So I don't think it can be that bad. Okay, there's Explorer's Instinct, which honestly, a little bit late, considering it's literally not possible for us to capitalize on this now. Apart from if we had um, a... Apart from if we had a thingy card, um, teleport card, but thank you anyways, game. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how much Tofu Boy is doing for us, but he's he's being part of the team, so I can't floor him for that. Cannot be floored. Um, bow. Ooh, three trinkets. Unfortunately, none of them quite stand up to what we currently have. That first floor, it really did just set us up like crazy. There's a lot of maggots and stuff on this floor, so this item that splits the damage is, is going to be crazy. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize this was one of these rooms where the, the geometry is the enemy. Oh, I'm also going to have to get used to the fact that I don't have flight right now either. I got used to having flight there, and that was only because I had that blessing. But yeah, all the basic enemies and maggots and stuff being able to die at the same time. Oh, the doubled soul heart draw. Yes, please. Ooh. I don't know how that worked so well, but it did. But like a lot of the rooms are like in Fiend Folio, just in the vanilla game, are built like this, where both sides of the room are the same. Which... Lawn darts? Oh, from Solomon, thank you. Uh, he gave me a let me get and whisper. They're, they're kind of split into two sides of the same, uh, either, like even either side, same enemies. So basically now I just have to kill one side and the other side automatically dies. Which saves us a lot of time. That is beautiful. Some of these items aren't going to be as useful when it comes to killing Mother. But still. I'm not sure what this eye does and I'm not... Quite sure I want to figure out. Lawn darts is honestly super good right now. I, I really hope I get to keep that. Oh, hello. New boss for us here. Honestly, Broken Murder is making this a lot easier than it should be too. But you're, you are taking a beating though, aren't you? Wow. What's this you're doing now? Oh, this is a hard attack. Fakes you out with some of them as well. He's in his second phase now. Oh, he, gra he grabbed me. And then there's a third phase as well. Ooh. I might have fought this version before, but I don't remember it. It's really cool. Ow. This is tricky. I'm probably going to take another hit or two here, I'd, I'd say. Okay. We get a new Tofu piece. Do we actually want to take that? I'm not sure. As far as Instinct procs, is that Dark Bum? I don't know what the other thing is. I'm going to gamble. It's duality. God damn it. Very, very poor gamble on my behalf there. Very poor gamble indeed. I think I'm going to re-roll Tofu. Uh, it literally re-rolls into Tofu. You can't have anything else other than... Uh, I respect it, Gear. I respect it. Stop me from cheesing it. Yeah, I spent some health there on something I almost certainly shouldn't have. Um, 
duality literally does nothing for us. But I was like, I don't know, it could be Eye of Belial or something. I don't know what my re-sprites are doing right now. A little bit of extra money at the secret room there. Not too bad. Unfortunately, with Explorer's Instinct, you do get shown the red room, the ultra secret room, but we've not gotten a red key out of anything. It's a shame, because there is opportunity to get one with the mods that I have going. It is there. Let's keep her going. Right, oh, we got our old chest as well. I forgot about that. Hopefully it's the three soul heart one. That's the best one. Damn it, it's not. Um... Ooh, the big old whale. Don't see this enemy often, but it's very cool. Very cool indeed. Come on, open up, you stupid. Where is it? It's there, I see it, I see it. Yeah, I'm hoping for at least one more soul heart before the boss here, but if we don't get it, we don't get it. It's fine. Ooh, hello. That was quite a lot of good stuff there. Ooh, what, what card could that be? Strength? Magician's pretty good going. I'll take it. Magician is pretty good going. Homing for the entire fight. I can get behind that. God, we got our money back up to a respectable level for the end of the floor as well. Whoa, you see all the spiders in the corner. That's so cool. Got a teal enemy in here. It does give us a half soul heart though for killing it. I quite like that. I do like that. It makes the room significantly harder in a lot of cases. But the fact that it can give you a half soul heart at a 50% chance. Pretty good value proposition. Ooh, what the hell's this guy? Oh god. Oh my lord, Gimpy, thank you. I didn't go my way at all. Oh, hello. The pale. I think I ought to re-roll that into something potentially good. Picking up... Ooh, that's plus one damage up, so I'll definitely be taking that. I realise that the value of that is a bit strange. Because <laughs> I don't know if I lost one damage for taking it, but... I think I gained more damage. I'm not 100%, I'll be honest. Ooh, that's pretty good. And as, as, we see, as we're seeing here, we're getting the money back anyways. Ooh, another half soul heart. Okay, health is... It's, it's, it's at least where we started the floor, right? We've not lost any so far, so that's nice. Patched heart doesn't do much for us here. Please be something good. Uh, that's like potentially really good. Class D8 to reroll our stats, but we only have three chances for it to be better than our starting stats right now. Do we really want to take that risk? I don't think so. What is this card? The unknown. No, way too risky. But I will bomb this though. For a little bit of extra money. I want to be using my bombs because I've got that. I've got them nugget bombs going. They could be crazy good on this boss if we get a ton of them stacked up. Someone on an open shop chest. Triple shot. Nah. We've not got any fire rate ups. It's not a good idea. Oh, we, we can re-roll though. Still not great. Right. So pop our magician straight away. And then just bomb like crazy to get the nugget bombs going. Just try and deal damage with the bombs if we can. But it's all about just getting the bombs out there. To spawn these, um, these nugget flies. Because they, they do considerable damage when you're getting stacked up. Also, Luminary Flare is going off. Yeah, and the, 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 I'm pretty sure the Infinite, I think we last the whole room. And I'm pretty sure you can have as many as you want on the field. Oh, I, I've just, I've done that twice now. I've walked directly into my own explosion. Don't do that. Bad idea. If we can hit her with the bomb, it's, it's very preferable. Not entirely necessary. Yeah, that's a lot of flies up already. I honestly don't really care. Did, did you just push my luminary flare down? Should have saved some bombs for this, to be honest. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I thought we bugged it then, but I think Broken Murder just props. 
Right, that's probably enough nuggets to be uh, doing good amount of damage here. I don't know how much they do pair. I'm not sure if it's 3.5 the scale with ours. I think they scale with ours. We do have an additional piece of turf who helping us out. I think Turfy Boy is underneath there doing some damage. Unfortunately, a theme isn't getting its chance to shine right now. But it's had its, it's had its um, time in the spotlight, so I don't mind. Get back up over here near all of these crazy flies. There's so many of them up here. But anyways, you're dead. Pretty good mother run. Pretty good mother run. I enjoyed that a lot. A lot of a lot of different stuff taking place there. Really, really good start to a run. Carried us throughout, of course. And there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.